right, all right, all right. We're back with another tournament match here. I'm your host, Josh Powell. This is Amateur Pool, and we've got an amateur match today yet again. This is Josh versus Josh. I bet you Josh wins. But which Josh? We don't know. That's Josh Adolph getting ready to flip the coin right now. He decided he wanted to flip instead of lag. I said, go for it. He flips. I'm checking it out. He won the lag. So I'm going to rack for him. He's going to break. And we're going to get into this match, guys. So this is a nine ball tournament match. Uh, we showed up. Our team showed up at Grindstone in Flint, Michigan to play um, league. And it was July 3rd, the day before the holiday. And there was only like one other team that showed up, maybe in a couple stragglers. Uh, so we did not have enough teams there to actually play league. Uh, it was a miscommunication on whether or not we were actually going to have league that night or not. So I said, hey, man, let's just have a tournament. Uh, this is uh, the result of that. It was a $10 buy-in, cheap little fun tournament. This is the third round, my third round of the tournament. I think I had to buy the first round, so... Um, Josh Adolph is the Q-Smith at Grindstone Billiards. In fact, he just put a tip on my stick about an hour before this match. So I'm shooting with a brand new tip. I don't know if you watched my, my previous vlog video for the uh, last tournament I played, but uh, my tip popped off my stick, so he put a new one on for me. And I like it. I like it. I can't even remember what kind of tip it is, but I like it. All right, Josh broke. He had a lot of top spin on that break. It was kind of strange uh, the way they... They just kind of stood there, and then it rolled forward. It was weird. Um, I've got a clear shot at this one ball, and I'm going to have to draw off the right side rail to get to the two. Did pretty okay on that one. Pretty okay. Now, the three ball's in a tricky spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this two a straight draw so I can get a look at the three, but I don't think I'm actually going to try to make the three. I'm probably going to play safety off that three. It would be the best thing to do. Uh, I could try to carry him the nine, but that's that shot's a lot tougher than it actually looks here. Uh, you'd have to just barely touch the three. But if I hit this with a stun follow, the three goes two rails up to the top of the table, and the cue ball goes down below the nine. Yep. Just like that. What I don't want is the three ball to end up in front of the pocket, which kind of did, but not super close, so it should be all right, guys. Hey, leave a comment. Let me know how the quality, uh, the audio quality is on this video. I, I'm recording this in a different location because I get a lot of echo where I normally record in my basement. So I took this upstairs just to see if it's going to be any better. When I watch my videos back, that's the number one thing I don't like is the audio quality. Uh, so I'm, I'm figuring out a way to make that better and then uh, bring you guys better content. So leave me a comment. Let me know if it sounds better, where it's the same, no difference, you know. Uh, Josh, you're full of crap because your last video was all right, too. I don't know. Just leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know how it is. So Josh has got to try to kick at this. I think he's going to go one rail. Uh, that's what he's eyeing up right now. It looks like just a one rail kick, and which is smart because he actually has a chance to make it if he goes that way. So he's got to hit real close to about that second diamond, and I think he's going to have to add a little left spin as well. Uh, without spin, I think he's too close to the eight ball to make the three. Oh yeah, he needed left spin for sure. Needed some left spinach on that one, some Popeye spinach special. Uh, and he might have had a chance to actually hit it and make it. But instead, I got ball in hand. So like I said, this is a race to four, guys. This is a winner's side match. This was double elimination tournament. Uh, and I recorded every one of my matches through this tournament. So I've got a few more of these to bring to you guys as well. Hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, our summer session in league is only going every two weeks and obviously this is uh, uh we didn't have a match on july 3rd so i'm not going to have another league match for another two weeks but i will play two that night and record both of them and i'll bring those to you guys as well so enjoy these in the meantime um if you guys have any ideas that you want to see me do videos about let me know as well all right so five ball i'm probably going to follow forward here and just try to nick the yeah yep just nick the nine so landed pretty nice on that six. So this is just straight draw. If It looks like if I'm straight, I can draw back off the rail. But if I'm not straight, I can just draw it up a little bit for the seven. Yeah, I must I must have actually not, not, I wasn't straight, but I had the wrong angle. So you saw the cue ball came back down lower when I drew it. Uh, but this is pretty easy here. Just stop shot, really. Yeah. Stop shot, and I got the eight. I don't know what kind of angles on this, but even if I don't have an angle, I can just draw the cue ball straight back to the left side rail for the nine. If I have an angle, I can put a little spin uh, and come down to shoot the nine in the bottom left corner pocket. Um, be what, 
I guess it'd be that corner right there from that one that I'm almost touching probably. I think I'm almost touching it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. You know, I do these things blind, you know? I don't know. I don't know nothing. It's just the way it is. I'm drinking beer today too, guys. Root beer. Still not a sponsor though. A&W is not a sponsor. They could be, you know, if they'd call. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you guys to call. Hit me up. All right, so that was a pretty textbook out. Not too bad. Pretty easy. I had one good safety I played in there and then got ball in hand. Ran it out. Winter break, so I'm up to break here and I'm going to destroy this rack. It's just kidding. I barely hit it. Hit it like a little girl, you know. I threw my purse at it. Clawed it, scratched it, pulled its hair, you know. <laughs> Let's see what I can do here, though, because it looks like I did make a ball. I've got a clear look at this uh, one ball, but look where the two balls at. It's kind of ugly. What am I going to do here? Holy mackerel, I tried to go all the way around the world on that, but the seven ball jumped in my way, you know. You guys saw the seven ball move. It moved right in my way, you know. It shouldn't have been there. It wasn't supposed to be there. Now, I think I'm going to try to safety him here, too. I can hit the bank the two-up table with a stop shot, really. Seven balls in my way again, but I think I got lucky and um, still got the hook here. I think the nine and the five are still in his way. But this is a pretty easy one to hit because the two so close to the rail. It's not likely that he gives me ball in hand off this one unless he scratches or something. You know, he's probably going to hit this. Yeah. Where is it going to end up, though? Safety. Safety action. Hey, I mean, that worked out pretty well for him. So with this kick, I'm going to kick it off that side rail. Yeah, I'm lining up because my goal is to make it in that side pocket, obviously. But um, more importantly than that, I want to make sure I hit the bottom side of the two ball. I don't want to hit the top side of the two ball, though that could work as well. But I want to hit it fairly firm. Um, and I want the two ball in case I miss the side pocket, to end up at the top side of the table and the cue ball at the bottom side of the table. Uh, I mean, I did. It was close, you know. I almost made it, but um, really I got unlucky because the two ball hit the point there and didn't finish at the top end of the table. It came straight back out because it hit the point. If I wouldn't have hit the point there, I would have left him pretty tough on this shot. I mean, it's still not an easy shot. He's on the rail. You know, he's got that little back cut into the corner. Um, so it's not an easy shot by any means, but it's a lot easier than it could have been. All right, he missed it, so now I got an opportunity, but not a great opportunity because the um, unless I want to play a 2-4 combo, which I don't from that distance for sure. If I was closer to it, I would play it, but from this distance, it's just asking for trouble. Looks like I was trying to play another safety and just bury the cue ball behind the 8 and the 4 and send the 2 ball up table, but I hit it too hard and uh, leak the cue ball out. So now he's got a good look at the two. All he's got to do is make this and not get himself behind the seven. So he needs to put either right spin or left spin on this so he doesn't get behind the seven or just hit it soft. Whew, that was close. Yeah, the, the natural angle looked like it was going right over there, I thought behind the seven, but maybe he put a little follow on it and um, ended up hitting the seven. Either way, it was close, but he ended up nice because now he's got a good look at the four. He can put a little right spin on this. Okay. He put a little draw with a little right spin. Uh, if he would have just put straight right spin on that, I think he could have had a real good shape on the five into the same pocket. He does still have a shot, but it's tight into that corner po or that side pocket now. It's not the easiest shot in the world. He went for the bank. Huh. Interesting, man. You know, the bank could have worked as well. Uh, it's a little bit... In my opinion, a tougher shot, but uh, maybe he likes the bank better than that cut because that cut into the side is tricky for sure. So I'm going to make this with a little bottom and a little left. I'm going to come off the top rail and back over for the seven. I needed to hit more of the five ball there, guys. I hit the five ball too thin, and uh, that made the cue ball go straight up table instead of over like I expected and missed the five ball. Uh, the good news for me is I kind of hooked him on the, the nine, but the bad news for me is that it's sitting in the pocket. The five ball is literally in the pocket. I think if he breathed on it, it'll fall in. So all he's got to do is make contact. He can probably kick at it. Uh, he might even be able to swerve it. You know, I'd probably go with a little swerve shot here. Looks like he's going to kick it. Either way, as long as he hits it, 
he should make it and get shape on that 7. Especially kicking at it, he'll have pretty good shape on the 7, I bet. Slow roll, slow roll action. Nice contact and good shot, and he does have a shape on the 7. It's not the easiest shot in the world to make this 7, but he's got it, you know. At least he's got an attempt at it. Oh, that was a smooth cut, man. No love out of it, though, because I don't think he's got a clear shot at this eight ball. He might be able to hit the side of it, but I don't think he can make it. Um, but that was a that was a clutched up shot. That was not an easy shot to make, that one he just made. It's not easy being cheesy, homeboy. All right, he's looking at going rail first, which is the right way to go here, man. That's Well, at least in my opinion, that's the way I would shoot it. Uh, rail first. Uh, and if he puts top on it and adjusts, he can actually come around two rails for the shape on the nine as well. Mm. He hit the eight too thin, so he hit the rail a little bit too early and uh, didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Didn't work out. He left me a long shot, but it should be a pretty easy routine shot because the eight's only about six inches from the pocket. Uh, all I got to do is roll it up, make the 8, and as long as I don't crush it, I'm going to end up with a shot on the 9. So I was running the tournament here, guys. You know, I was I made the bracket and um, was running the tournament. So that's why I'm not at the table right now. I had to step up to the, um, I don't know what you call it, the bar. <laughs> it's a bar. I don't know what you call it. What do you call those things where you go up to and get drinks? I had to step up to the bar and write down the win or a loss of a match and, and progress the tournament. So, sorry for the delay, little Timmy, but it had to be done. You know, it just had to be done. All right, nice smooth stroke here, man. Only thing I can do is really is go up and back down. Um, the only thing I can do wrong is go up and back down because anywhere at the top end of the table, I got a shot at this nine, so that worked out. Easy shot here, should just put a little draw on it probably just to kill the cue ball so it doesn't fly around the table. Yep. Alright, just like that, I'm up to, to zip sauce, you know what I'm saying? We're going into rack number three. Um, I'm up to break, I made a ball, I made the wing ball, I made two balls. I think, I don't know if the other one was the wing ball, I made one wing ball and the other one I might have got kicked in or something, I'm not 100% certain. I've got a shot on this nine. I'm pretty sure it goes right past the seven. And um, if I can avoid hitting the six, I should come down and back up. My cue ball should come down and back up for the shot at the two ball. So I just got to be a little cautious about running into the six. And make sure I make the shot, Josh. That's probably more important, you know. Making the shot's more important than getting that shape, bro. If you don't make the shot, then you didn't get any shape. Because you don't get to shoot again, you know. You may have got a shape for somebody else, but not you. Suck it. <laughs> all right, the good news for me is the three balls blocking him. I don't think he can make this all the way down. I think if he wants to go offensive here, the only thing he can really do is thin cut the one and try to bank it across the side. If he wants to go offensive. Um, there's a couple defensive shots he could try here as well. Um, a couple things he could do, but... Let's see. It looks like he's going to cross cut it. Yeah, he tried. Ooh, got the nine ball moving too. Hey, it's never a bad idea, a nine ball, uh, especially if you're playing someone who's a higher skill level than you, to get that nine ball moving around the table. You know what I mean? Because if it falls, you just won that game. You just stole a win. All right. Okay, I don't know why I drew it back quite that far. I don't think that was really um, prudent, you know? I could have just stopped it there maybe or just drew it back a little. I understand I wanted an angle. If I would have stopped it, I would have been pretty straight. But I don't. I didn't need that much of an angle. This works with a three in the side as long as I don't get behind the six. That was close. It was close. All right, three in the side with straight top. Just come off the rail and back over for the four. Yep. Didn't really want to come over that far, though, because now I've got a weird angle where I'm kind of going into the seven ball. Um, I could use straight draw on this, but I'm not sure I can avoid hitting the seven ball. Let's see. 
Let's see what happens. No, I missed the shot, man. There I go again, you know. I'm worrying about the shape a lot and um, just losing focus on my shot. I need to stay accurate on those shots, stay down, uh, and just know that the shape's going to work because I'm hitting the right English on the cue ball. Uh, you can't control the shape. You can only control where you hit the cue ball. And I know that sounds strange, right? Like, what's this guy talking about? You're a moron. That's obvious. But um, mentally, it's not obvious because mentally when you get down, a lot of jerking and movement comes from trying to force something, trying to make it happen, you know? And really all you can do is hit the cue ball. So you put the right English on it, and you just stroke through the cue ball, and the cue ball does the rest. I know it's, it's, it's real weird to say that, and it's weird to hear it, but if you can get yourself in that mind frame, I tell myself that all the time when I'm shooting. Just You can't control the shot, bro. Just hit the cue ball. If you hit it smooth and correctly, the shot does what it's supposed to do. But, um, man, if you can get yourself in that mind frame, at least for me, when I get myself into that mind frame, I play much better. You know, I got lucky here and got another opportunity at the table, so um, I should take advantage of this. I got just a slight angle on the seven, which is perfect. I'm going to use bottom right English and come off of that right side rail and back over to the left. Uh, that way I can shoot. Jeez. Yeah, this is rough here. This is rough, boys. Rough, boys and girls. Whew. I honestly didn't remember missing that shot. I didn't think I was going to miss that shot. That was El Horrible. That's what the Spanish call El Horrible. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about already, man. It doesn't feel good doing it, and it definitely doesn't feel good watching yourself do it back. You know? All right, if Josh can clutch up and make this one now, he's going to get a game on the board because that nine's pretty wide open. And he did with a nice bank shot, and he used follow. He used straight top on that bank. To get the cue ball back down for the nine. Rewind the tape and check that out. That was a good shot. Made the nine. So now he's he's closing the gap. It's two to one. Ain't no fun. I'm not in the sun. He's getting it done. Oh, three ball saved him from a scratch there. And the one ball fell. Um, but where the two ball ended up, he doesn't have a shot here. Unless he wants to do the old pool hall junkie shot. You know, where you just graze the side of it. And then come off the rail and back. Pool hall junkie shot. Look it up if you don't know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up, bro. Pool hall junkies was a movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I love it. You know, it's kind of a low budget film, but it's a pretty good pool movie. Pretty good pool movie. Aside from like Color of Money and The Hustler, I think it's the best. I like it. As far as the storyline goes, the acting's not the best, but it's, uh, I like it. I've watched it several times. I'll still, if it's on TV right now, I would watch it. You know, if I'm flipping through and I see it, I'm, I'm going to watch it. So check it out if you haven't seen it. You know? Let me know what you think. Maybe it's one of your favorite movies already. I don't know. I really don't know, Joe. All right, so he looks like Josh is playing a push out here. So he doesn't want to try to make a bad hit on that two ball, and I don't blame him because, they're, I mean, they're almost touching right now. So he's going to leave the two ball where it's at, push the cue ball up table, and he's going to give me an option here. So if I can see the two ball, I'm probably going to shoot. You know, I'm, I'm not going to have him shoot because I can see it. I don't have to kick at it so I can make something happen, whether it's a safety or offensive. It's not much offensive here, but um, unless I want to cross, cross side. But I'm not a big fan of that shot, especially from this angle. Oh, okay. I see what I was doing there. I was just trying to hit the two into the three and leave him an off angle combo. That would be extremely difficult to make. But I got unlucky and the two ball hit the point and then shot over, you know. If the two ball wouldn't have hit the point, it would have hit the three and it would have just pushed it up a little bit. And it would have made, uh, made his shot pretty dang hard. He made a nice cut there, but where that three ball's at now? Oh, he made the eight too. He got a bonus ball. Bonus ball. Where the eight, where the three ball's at here though is not easy. It's not easy for the bearded fella, you know. Josh, if you watch this, man, you're my boy. You know? <laughs> Josh is my boy, man. Like I said, he put my tip on. He's a good dude, man. If you guys are uh, in the Flint area and you need some tip work done, go to Grindstone and look for Josh, man. He's got a pro shop there. He's got everything he needs there. Um, he does good work, too. So, yep. If you're in the area or if you live in the southeast Michigan area, keep him in mind, man. He does a good job. 
I mean, he, he does tips better than he plays pool. Let's just say that. <laughs> just kidding with you, Josh. Relax, bro. I'm just joking with you, little Timmy. Just a joke amongst friends. You know? There can be only one Josh, though. And this match will determine. You're going to have to change your name if I win. You know? And if you win, I'll change my name. I'll go change my name to, like, Igor or something. Igor? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it. If you beat me, I'll figure out a new name. But, you know, if I beat you, you got to figure out a new name. There can be only one Josh, you know? Especially when we're both at the grindstone at the same time. You hear, hey, Josh, and we both look. Who are you talking to, bro? We don't know. All right. Oh, that was, get over there. Get over there. That was a pretty good shot right there, man. I slammed that into the, that four ball into the side pocket. And I had to hit it hard to get the shape because I used stun off the rail and back over. As you can see, I barely hit it hard enough. Any softer than that, and I wouldn't have got that shape. That was a pretty good delicate touch shot as well for speed. Um, making sure I didn't get behind the nine. Got a pretty easy one here. I'll probably just roll this in or stop it. Yeah. Pretty easy standard stuff here. All I got to do is clutch up and make this nine. And I am on the hizzle. So let's see how this goes. Boom. A little tough acting. Ten acting on that out, baby. I'm on the hill. Three to one. And it's a good time to tell you guys, get your short rail shirts, man. Get your short rail hats. Get your short rail tank tops. Go to shortrail.com. High quality stuff, affordable prices, cheap shipping. Shipping's $3. You know, you can't beat it. You're not going to find shipping that cheap anywhere. Unless you go to Amazon, then it's free. But, uh, you know, I'm not Amazon. I'm not Jeff Bezos, bro. I'm trying to be like Jeff Bezos. So buy a shirt, sucker. <laughs> All right. Enough of the ad. That's the last ad I'm going to do. Until the very end, I'll probably say it again. You guys know. You guys know how it works. You know? You guys watch enough YouTube. You know how it works. Oh, I'm raising my hand. Like, what's going on here? Like, the ball didn't do what it was supposed to do because I hit it. I did that. I'm now I'm all surprised it happened. No, that's funny. I do it all the time, and everybody does it. You know, you make a bad shot, and you raise your hand like you're, like you're perplexed. You don't know. How did that happen? Uh, could you hit it bad, sucker? That's how it happened. Try to hit him a little better next time, you know? Yes, oh, he's going to curve. He's going to curve her in there. This would be a good shot if he makes it. It's a long curve. Oh, yeah. He did, did pretty well on that. I mean, he didn't curve it a whole lot, but he hit it just enough. Uh, and then double hit it in, obviously. The cue ball hit, it, hit the one ball twice. So that worked out pretty well for him, man. I don't think he can see the two ball. Josh keeps making a good shot and then getting kind of hosed on his, on his next shot. Um... It's unfortunate, man, but that's the way the game goes sometimes. Sometimes you get luck, sometimes you get no luck, you know? Just the way the game goes. I don't think he can see this two ball, right? Unless, is he going to go off the rail at it? Is he going to try to curve? What's he? Or maybe he can just see the edge of it. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here, but I don't think he can see it. He's going off the rail at it. Made a good hit. Left me tough. I don't think I really have a way to, to make this two. But where the six, seven, nine sit, there should be a good opportunity for a safety here. If I don't mess it up. You know, that last shot I did in that last rack. Yeah, I messed it up. Messed it up. Jeez. I was supposed to bank the two up past those. Really, I could have... Uh, cut the two a little bit so it banked straight up table and just put the cue ball behind that stack of balls. That's what I like better. Um, I left him a combo here to the two to the seven, but the the, one, the cue ball is going to hit the nine and who knows where it's going to go and the two ball is going to run up table somewhere. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, missed it. He missed it. If he'd have hit that thinner, he probably would have had a shot because the two ball would have rolled up table further and I think he would have had a shot in the corner. You know where the cue ball ended up. He left me a thin cut here, though. I don't like this cut. I mean, I may have to shoot it. I'm not sure of that unless I want to bank or play a safety, but I'll probably shoot the cut here, I would imagine. No, it went for the bank. Yeah, I wasn't banking very good on this day, man. I'll tell you that. I missed a few of them in the first set. I think I missed one in the second set. Now I missed one in the third set, bro. Just not, uh, not feeling the bank shot, love, so much. Uh, on these tables. 
which is weird because I have the same table, just different color, you know? You know? You already know. <laughs> you already know, bro. So funny. I don't know why I say that. It's kind of like one of those nervous things, like people say, um, when they're giving speeches, you know, in public. They're like, um, um, um. I say, you know? <laughs> I don't know which is better, you know? You know? I don't know which one's better, man. Probably, um, I don't know. But he missed the cut on the two. It was a little bit thin and left me a long cut. What am I doing? You don't jack up on a long shot like this. Yeah, no way I make that. You don't jack up on a long cut like that. You know, a short cut maybe or a short shot, a long shot like that. Because when you push down on the cue ball, what happens is it pushes it into the table, right? So if you're not dead center with your stick in the cue ball, if you don't hit that cue ball dead in the middle and you're off to the side a little bit, the force pushing down against the slate that, that pushes back squirts the cue ball off to the side, right? It's physics, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. If, is it physics or what is it? Is it science? I don't know. But it happens. You know what I mean? When you're pushing down on the cue ball, if you don't hit dead center, the ball squirts. So you end up missing those shots a lot. That's why raising the back of your stick up is such a bad thing to do unless you have to. And I don't think I had to there. I think I could have leveled it out, made the shot, and then just took a longer, harder shot on the three ball rather than trying to draw back like that. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name. Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess and I change. Possessed by the thought, I'll be free one day from society. That was dumb. D-O-M dumb. Oh, what a good cut. That was a good cut up the table, Josh. Oh no, and he got hooked behind the nine, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Josh is a uh, Josh A is getting no love in this match, man. No love. He's making good shots and just not getting the shape. So it's important, man. You got to control that cue ball. Make all those hard shots and not get a win out of it, man. It's heartbreaking. It's a heartbreak hotel for Josh. Hey, not Josh P. Josh A is soon, soon to have to change his name if I beat him here. We never made that bet in real life. I just made it up on the spot right now. You know, so highly doubt he changes his name even if I do win. <laughs> but he should, you know. There can be only one Josh. There can, it's like the Highlander movie. There can be only one. Or the movie called The One with, uh, who was that, Jet Li? Was it Jet Li? I can't remember. I think it was Jet Li. But there can be only one. You know? That's it. That's it. All right. He left me a shot. Oh, he gave me a ball in hand. That's right. So I'm going side pocket here. Um, just drift it forward. Make sure I'm not shooting over top of the nine. This is really the only thing to look out for here. Go far enough. Yep. Go far enough so I'm not over top of the nine with my stick when I shoot the six. Uh, this one I can actually just draw it a little bit or stop it probably. Yeah. So with the seven ball, it's a little bit scary, but if you play a stun here, you don't scratch. You go up next to the corner pocket, and then you put right spin on it to get the cue ball spun over towards the eight. It's a little bit scary shot because if you if you hesitate and don't follow through with your stroke, then um, you end up scratching because the cue ball goes forward. But if you follow all the way through with your shot and execute it, you know you're not going to scratch there. It's just the way it is. All right, pretty self-explanatory here. Boom, a little bit of bottom, a little bit of left, just to come over off the rail and up for the nine in the side. And this, ladies and gentlemen, should be our match. There it is. So I won four to one. Josh Adolph, thank you so much for letting me record, my man. Thanks for putting the tip on. I still like it. Uh, it's a good tip. I'm not sure what kind it is, but I like it. Soft, layered. Um, that's it, guys. Shortrail.com or link in the description. Get you some short rail merch. You see the cursive logo up in the corner, or you did until you know until the match was over. But uh, also got the block logos. Got a different style too. So anything you need, man, just go on there and get it. Leave me a comment. Let me know how the audio sounds here, guys, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.